How can we find unknown quantities? Well, let's say for every dollar a student raises, the school will donate three times that amount. Let's say Jane's a student who raised $5. We know that five multiplied by three is the amount the school raised. And we can say that that equals 15. So that statement is true. Five times three equals 15. Or if you raise $10, we can write that as 10 multiplied by three to work out that the school donates $30. So that's true. But this time, we don't know how much the student raised. We do know, though, that the school donated $300. Remember, for every dollar the student raised, let's use an empty box. We multiply that by three to get the amount the school donates, which is $300. So this time, what we actually need to do is find out the number that goes in the box to make that statement true. Let's have a look how we work out what to write in that box. If we have 22 minus a number and we get 15, what number makes that statement true? Well, we need to work out how to get from 22 to 15 or from 15 to 22. We could use a number line and you might be able to count back from 22 to 15. You might do it in one go. But if not, you can count back to 20 and then back to 15. So you counted back two and another five. So to get from 22 to 15, we needed to subtract seven. So seven in that box makes that statement true. This time, we're going to try and solve this problem two different ways and find the unknown. 47 plus what number gives me 59? Well, how do we get from 47 to 59? Let's start at 47 and count up. We can add 3 to 47 to get 50 and then add another 9 to get 59. 3 plus 9 is the same as 9 plus 3, which is 12. So 47 plus 12 would give us 59. So putting a 12 in that box makes that statement true. What about if we solve it a different way? This time we'll count back from 59. We still need to work out what we add to 47. We can work out the difference between two numbers by counting back. 59, why don't we subtract 10 to get 49 and then subtract another 2 to get 47? That means the difference between 47 and 59 is actually 12. So 47 plus 12 gives us 59. So that statement is true. Now we've got some division. 90 divided by what number equals 9? How do we make that statement true? Well, if you have a look, you can see we have a 9 in both of our numbers. In one case, it's in the tens place, but in the other, it's in the units place. So the numbers are not the same. So it's not going to be a 1 in that box. So we can think of place value. If we've got 9 tens and then we're comparing it to 9 units, you can see that to have 9 units, we would need to divide by 10. When we move to the right in our place value table, it's like dividing by 10. So 90 divided by 10 would give us 9. That makes the statement true.